There are five work modes to help you select the right mode and efficiency for the application at hand. I mode provides minimum engine RPM and H mode the highest. F mode is for maximum lifting power and G mode is for economical operation during general applications. When it's necessary to produce many tons per hour, you should press the power mode switch. With this switch, both the engine RPMs and production will increase. However, so will the fuel consumption. In some applications, you'll achieve lower fuel consumption and faster cycle times if you activate the float function. When digging in harder materials, extra digging force might occasionally be required. In order to select the power boost, press the left-hand switch on the right-hand control lever. This will be indicated on the display. You now have additional hydraulic pressure for a period of time selected in the machine settings, enabling you to fill the bucket faster. Press the button before entering the material. If the bucket gets stuck, pressing the power boost doesn't usually help. Make sure that the teeth are not worn out. Worn out teeth will cost you more in fuel and will result in decreased production. The long-lasting and self-sharpening Volvo tool system is strongly recommended. The same applies to the side cutters. With the correct wear parts, the bucket will better cut into the material. Although it's mostly the truck driver who is responsible for transportation, it's useful to know the basics of loading an excavator onto a trailer. First, clean the machine as stones and clay can fall off and cause severe damage. Depending on the size of the excavator and type of trailer, the digging equipment can be placed in both a folding and extended position. Make sure that the lowest possible transport height is obtained. If the excavator is too high, severe damage could be caused to bridges and similar structures. Measure the height to make sure it's not above the maximum height. Use the anchor points on the excavator to secure the machine. Hook into the holes in the undercarriage and not the track shoes. Chains are attached diagonally, lengthwise, and one chain is used to secure the cross movements. The same applies at the front and at the rear. Fold in all mirrors and any accessories that are likely to increase the transport width. Lock all the doors and hatches because the high turbulence could cause them to fly open and result in damage. Disconnect the main battery switch. Walk around to check that everything looks normal before transport. Select the best work mode for your application. Make sure the teeth are not worn out. Clean the machine before transport and make sure the lowest possible transport height is obtained. And use the anchor points to secure the excavator when transporting the machine. Fold in the rear view mirrors and lock all doors and hatches.